Very good day to all of you. I am Ifat with Let's Learn English channel. As you all know that we are working on the structure of language and the structure of language based on parts of speech. So we are heading towards to open all these uh, words of speech and the first one is noun that I have written already over here. Nouns are by far the most various class of uh, words. As we have discussed that whenever we, we, we will check these words, we will take three tests or three criteria to check them. First will be the function, second will be uh, the meaning and third will be the form. Uh, by using all these three testing criteria, we can go through how these words work in the phrases and after that in the clauses. The first one is, the first we will discuss the function of the noun and the, what is the function of the noun. That noun uh, behaves as an, a noun, head of the noun phrase, like NP. We will use the word NP, noun phrase and head. If, the, if your sentence is monkeys are mischievous creatures so here in this sentence monkey um, is playing the role of head of noun phrase okay if I say our town again it's an NP the sentence is started with NP that is noun phrase, town is the head and our is modifier. We use different words before them. Our town is near Mahavalpur. The worst journey ever. Again, journey is the head of noun phrase. The worst in the, and the are the both are the working as a modifier to show the in, intensity as well. The best way to, to check the noun phrase is uh, whether it uh, completes the criteria of where have where have it been found and what it is all about. And again, um, most of the head of the noun phrase used with the and this is another very good test for the nouns that we cannot use the before nouns, uh, before proper nouns. But as we can use the before common nouns and when they function as the head of the noun phrase. Now moving toward the form of the noun. If we will talk about the form of the noun, um, noun basically uh, behaves uh, and the changes into characteristic when we add different suffixes to them. Like if er, the word will become singer. It has given a characteristic to it. If I say, if I add ist, that will become hypnotist. If I say T, I, O, and shun, then word be, will become function, position, caution. Uh, actually, not position, you can say caution. Because, okay, caution. If I say um, fascism, if I add ISM, okay, if I add hood. It will become falsehood. But again, form is not the true criteria of checking uh, the word in the phrase or um, in a clause. If I say that if I put ER with long, what it will become? Whether it will fall into the category of noun? No, it won't. It will become adjective definitely. And if I put ER with ling, it will become linger. And linger is not a noun, it's a verb. So there are 
uh, many exceptions. Um, so it is not only uh, the criteria to check whether it can be changed. Again, um, noun changes their form into singular and plural. We have discussed thoroughly uh, in the previous videos. Uh, they change into uh, singular to plural and after that they change their gender, uh, masculine to feminine to masculine, masculine to feminine. A few examples are like, uh, then they behave like, uh, uh, sometimes we change uh, the central morpheme and sometimes we add SRES to make them uh, sem make singular to plural like uh, bat, bats, men, men, central morpheme is chain. Here we add tiny bit s into it. Okay, foot, feet. This is also the way to change them. This is also the way to change them. And this is also the way to change them. Uh, this is the way how um, they change their form. Now change their form. Now moving toward the meaning. Meaning of the noun. If we talk about the meaning of the noun, nouns typically refer to the physical phenomena, um, like uh, people, substances, places. Um, they, uh, when we talk about the people, places, uh, substances, uh, they will be called concrete noun, like uh, mm, Lahore, Bloomfield Hall. Parliament, they are called concrete noun, they have, uh, uh, we can feel it, we can check them by our hands. They are called concrete noun, but as well as there are abstract noun, abstract noun, talk about the events, processes, time, um, and, and such kind of different things like, uh, like birth, happiness, Refinement, revival, birthdays. So they are called as straight down. Okay. Actually, uh, this class is very varied and most common class of the world, and generally it won't behave in the same way everywhere. So we have checked all them mm, according to their function, according to their form and their meaning. What are their subcategories and how do they behave? We will discuss them in the next video. There are a lot more subcategories of nouns. Till then we have checked what is the function and form and meaning of the noun uh, and how do they behave in it. Till the next video, very goodbye to all of you.